Ever wondered how an ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile is actually launched? Here's how it works, step by step. It all starts with a command. Only the highest level of government, usually a president or head of state, can authorize the launch of an ICBM. The order is verified using nuclear codes, which are carried by military aides in a briefcase known as the football in the U.S. Once verified, the launch command is sent to underground missile silos, submarines, or mobile launchers, depending on the country's system. At the launch site, two operators typically turn keys or use biometric authentication. At the same time, this is to prevent any single person from launching alone. The missile is then launched vertically with a massive rocket booster, pushing it high into the Earth's atmosphere, sometimes over 1,000 kilometers up. At the peak of its arc, the warhead separates and travels across continents at hypersonic speeds up to 24,000 towers kilometer h. It follows a parabolic path out of the atmosphere and back in, guided by inertial systems and possibly satellite navigation. Some ICBMs carry multiple warheads, each targeting a different city. These are called MIRVs, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. The warheads re-enter the atmosphere at tremendous speed and explode over or on their targets depending on their design. Modern systems are designed to survive countermeasures, and some even carry decoys to fool enemy defense systems. The entire process from launch command to impact can take just 30 minutes across oceans. It's a chilling reminder of why global diplomacy and arms control are so critical. Want more deep dives into military tech and science explained simply? Like, share, and follow for more.